Hi, Shep Hyken here, customer service and experience expert. And today I'm going to discuss emergency response plans and training. Now, one of our viewers, Tom Korf, sent an important question. How should customer support agent handle callers who are threatening to harm themselves and maybe others? Well, this is a very serious topic and I'll share my thoughts, but it's important to note that the brevity of my answer does not diminish the importance of the question. If someone threatens to do harm to themselves or others, it cannot be taken lightly. If you find yourself in this situation, and it is like an emergency situation, the first step is to inform the customer that such statements are taken very seriously and you'll be informing the proper authorities. It's important to make this statement with as much concern and empathy as possible. Of course, the follow through is just as, if not even more important. You can't make that statement without following through on your actions. Once any imminent danger has been dealt with, take time to reflect. Determine how a situation like this should be handled and then create a process for crisis management. The process should include informing management and contacting the appropriate authorities. Train everyone in your organization how to respond using this process. Training is important to ensure consistency. While Tom's question was focused on how to respond in a customer support center, this situation could happen to anyone in almost any department. The key is knowing what to do if and when it does. Again, everyone must know how to respond. This brings us to a bigger question. What other situations require company-wide training? Well, not quite as extreme as a customer doing harm to themselves or others, your employees should know what to do during a power outage. Do you have a game plan for snow days? What if the air conditioning goes out on the hottest day of the summer? On a more serious note, does everyone know what to do when the fire alarm goes off? There are plenty of emergency situations where everyone should be trained on how to respond. By the way, you're not finished once everyone is properly trained. Repeat training is the only way to ensure everyone is ready to react. Fire drills and other role plays should be done regularly to reinforce how to handle extreme issues. For some cases, you may consider repeating these training exercises and drills every six months or even more. So make your list, write out what needs to happen, get the process on paper and train, and then train again. You never know when you might face one of these situations. When that does happen, you'll be prepared. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short lesson. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is Shep Hyken reminding you to always be amazing.